Hi dear students, how are you? I hope you're fine. Today we are talking about a new lesson. It's called the real number system. So let's start. This is very interesting uh, lessons. We have here the numbers. When I talk about the irrational number and most of the students here get confused of the names of the here uh, uh, here the concepts. So we have here the irrational number. Remember irrational the number that can't be expressed okay that can't be expressed as what a over b why because when we have taken before a over b this is what this is the remember and focus this is the rational number so irrational irrational it's the yeah it's the opposite here so the opposite of the rational irrational so it's here the number that can't be expressed as here as fraction okay where a and b are integers and b doesn't equal zero okay miss what we are talking about let's see here we have here all square roots are irrational numbers so let's see the set here of rational numbers we have here do you know the sets here we have many sets here the set of rational number and the set of the irrational number so you see here where is the set of the rational number as we see this is the set of the rational number this part and this is the set of the irrational number okay guys okay so the set of the rational numbers plus the set of irrational numbers give me what? Give me the total here is the real numbers. So the Venn diagram that you see here at the right shows the relationship among here the real numbers and the among the real numbers which are here the rational and the irrational. So in other words, let it be more easy here. So we have here real numbers as a whole. It consists of rational number, irrational number. Okay, guys, rational numbers that can be expressed as what well, as here a uh, fraction as you see and i have here a, ter a terminal uh, decimal and i have here what this is repeating decimal and i have here uh, as you see the whole numbers inside okay guys and then the zero and then the integers and after the integers we got here the here the rational numbers so this is what this is the rational and don't forget the natural numbers here inside okay guys the irrational numbers we have here please focus here we have the pi and we have here can you see this kind of decimals in the square root of the okay of the uh, that gives me here a whole number in the, under the square root okay when i say square root of 2 it doesn't give me a whole number right so it, but if i say here 25 so 25 under the square root it's not guys it's not what it's not here irrational it's rational but if i say but if i say square root 2 square root 3 so this is irrational number okay guys let's see here some examples to make sure we understand the point so i have here name all the sets of numbers the questions like, uh, comes like this name all the sets of numbers of which of each real number belongs when i have nine remember nine is very very easy this is a very natural number guys natural number and it belongs to whole numbers it's an integer and it's a rational number okay guys let's see in the venn diagram here I know this is easy, miss, but I want you to understand it very well. So if I say the word nine, it's uh, the number nine. It's a natural number inside the whole number, it's, and it's con it's it considered also integer. And this is from the rational numbers. Okay, guys, and the rational numbers in the real numbers too, right? Okay. What about zero point three? This is repeating as I told you decimal. So this is a uh, rational number because it's equivalent to what the fraction it's and this is the idea you have to understand it it's equivalent to the fraction here one over three so we got here 0 0.3333 this is what repeating the repeating decimal what about this one here square root 67 okay guys if we do the square root 67 by using our calculators you got here this number 
it's not the square root of a perfect square so a perfect square like 25 okay guys so like 25 or like 16 4 times 4 16 so this is what this is huh this is irrational this is irrational because it doesn't give me a perfect square under the square root okay easy one easy one negative 28 over 4 so negative 28 over 4 gives me what i can solve it it's like in the timetable we got here negative 7 so this number is an integer and a rational number to end very easy okay means it's with negative yeah negative here is an integer and it's considered here a rational number what about here negative outside and you got here 121 and i can solve it this is uh, because i have to uh, study well from uh, square root i've studied one the squared of from one two until here 15 remember i told you this last session so 121 it's 11 and i will write also the negative so this number and enter and uh, rational let's solve together here the equations okay solve each equation round to the nearest tenth if necessary so you got here x to the second power or x power 2 equals 64 guys focus here the inverse inverse means the opposite inverse i will write it the inverse of the squared is square root inverse of squared is square root so i will say here i will say here uh, i want to write it here i have here x squared equals 64 so i'm going to take the square root of both of them what i do here in this term i must do it in that on that term so x will come alone why miss dina because we have here square root means x multiplies x x squared means x is repeated two times 64 here it's what i have here uh, 64 guys gives me two options here so we got here what times what what equal here terms inside so we have 8 times 8 right so maybe it's negative 8 maybe it's positive 8 so you got here one time negative and the other time with positive so the solutions are eight and negative eight okay guys okay what about this the last one here we got uh, n uh, n squared equal 85 okay n squared so i need to get the value of n so the inverse of squared is square root n alone equals what equals here 9.2 by using the calculators this is the first time to use it so you got here 9.2 and negative 9.2 so we got here two answers so our solution here our solutions uh, are what negative 9.2 and positive 9.2 okay guys i hope you understood the lesson please if you have any question please send me on the scl uh, don't forget that i sent you the project of this quarter please do your project as usual if you have any problem please send me thank you for listening bye bye